Hey everyone, Elisa with Jots Designs, and today I'm just going to do another resin pour, um, and I'm going to use some silicone oil because that's what I do. And um, biggest thing about today is I'm kind of redeeming myself for last night's pour. It uh, didn't really fail per se, it was just what I had in mind for my plan. Didn't happen because as soon as I started the plan, like, disappeared, because that's what most of my plans do. Um, and the pour itself kind of cured flat. It wasn't, um, it didn't show the depth that it had when it was still wet um, and, and uncured. So I was a little disappointed with that. And I'm gonna end up using it more as a first layer and do a second layer on top of it. But it takes me a while to process the ideas and come up with what I'm gonna actually do. Um, so hopefully you'll see that one later. But stick around and see if this one turns out. I'm guessing that it did if you're seeing it because I probably haven't started showing you my fails yet. Um, <laughs> we'll see if that ever happens. But anyway, stick around, and uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down here at the corner, and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will be right back. Okay, so I've got my resin mixed up and all the colors mixed and everything, um, and I'll go over the colors in just a second. This, however, um, is some MDF board that I poured on a long time ago. Um, the resin was starting to set up when I used it, and when I poured it out, it just did not move, so I made a hot mess of everything. Um, so I'm just using that to re-pour on. And this, um, it was still dammed with the aluminum tape that I used, which I really like because you can kind of form it, um, make your corners, things like that. Um, so it's pretty pretty decent tape to use um, for damming when you're using resin. It's pretty good. Anyways, the colors I'm using, I'm trying to stick to um, Lorez pigments. I just had two that I didn't really have options for in Lorez. Um, but what I've got going on here is some uh, teal and light turquoise. And uh, those are pastes. The other pastes I have are the angel white and the black. And then for uh, powders, I've got turquoise blue and dusty teal. Obviously, I've got kind of a turquoise-y theme going on here because um, I'm also using the Ultra Dye uh, Turquoise by Folk Art. And I've got, last but not least, Mayron Gold Powder. Okay, so let me... Oh, and then um, the 3-in-1 silicone oil is what I will be using. So I'll be using the black as a base. Um, let me get this all cleaned off here. 